Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to the train video. As you can see, this is going to be a very, very long video, longer than the average video, because I decided to go ahead and record probably like a whole set, a whole, almost an entire week of training. We'll be using this bar, which you see right here, which would be the camera bar. So, of course, first time doing a bench, I decided to play it safe and just throw some chains and 25 pounder on there. Try to get in the day, because I actually trained yesterday, but I'll pop down another video if I do a video with this bar. And basically, I had it with like, you know, 95 pounds. Probably bump it up to like just a plate, but guys, I'm telling you right now, do not go heavy with this bar. Because not only are you going deeper, but it also gives you extra level of instability. So that I run twist this, hey, I went heavy with 225 felt light. Then I'm thinking, okay, this is 235. No, I can get three breaths with this. I got two, and my body's like, nope. Stop, stop, stop. So yeah, camera bar is definitely a plus for doing chest. I will tell you that right now, this bar is definitely good for that. And I did squats on it yesterday, but I took the first time on my low back. However, it'll probably be a lot better later on this week when I try it again with six squat bars I'm getting today with that attachment. So I'll try it again today. These you guys know what that is later on. Anyways, you can see here, I went ahead, right into some decline bench. And then from there, I did some general presses as well as some incline flies and presses right after that. And of course, I had to do a little bit of stretch and motion with the bands too, and then some trying to work. So one thing you will know is that, hey, I actually am doing more bodybuilding work because I may or may not do a show this summer, depends how I feel and depends how time rolls on. Because hey, here's the deal, I got extra time to train. Bodybuilding shows, now I know it's like, it seems like the shows they have for July and August, like the entry fee is only $25, so it depends. How good I am again, you know, how good I'm able to like to cut weight. I may do it, especially how time to do it. It's a high possibility, but I'm not making any promises right now. But anyone says anything, I'm not making any promises. So yes, for chest, this thing is awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you, for back, stick with a straight bar. Stick with a straight bar. I tried doing bent on rolls with bar, and it was probably the worst experience I had doing bent rolls. It just fell off. Like it just fell off. Like I felt like I couldn't go as heavy. And I feel like I was done bad with a straight bar and chains. Your belt, your this, your sorry. Your opinions may be different than how you're using it, but for me personally, when I use this, when I use the camera bar for rip bent rolls, it did not feel right at all. However, show today was a whole new topic. Watch Mark Bell's video on doing shoulder press with this bar, with the chains, and do. I'm telling you guys right now, you don't even need any weights on the bar. The bar bust of the chains is enough. You got 30 or 40 pound chains, it's enough. Period. And of course, last but not least, I also squats with it. And like I said, it takes the pressure off the shoulders and it'll probably be a lot better once I use the safety, safety, uh, safety squat bar attachment with the actual device. And then I know it'll be smooth and perfect from there. I will say this, without the SSB handles, I know those are gonna go in and out of the hole a lot easier, a lot smoother. All difference is, all thing is, since my hands are placed lower, I have to tell myself mentally to go deep. If that makes any sense, because I look at where I look crazy when I squat, I kind of look where my hand placement is, and with a straight bar, my hands are up closer up. So when I squat, I see my hands. Okay, I know I'm going deep enough this time. I'm like, now I look at my hand, my so my hands are this is square. Right? I'm like, okay, now I got to go down by this five inches. Once I figured that out by the second or third set, I was good to go. But yeah, it's something you guys want to be mindful of. Using that bar it is kind of more of a mind game than anything else. And one thing you'll notice is I actually took in another piloting program for my legs, where these guys are doing like that consists of taking squat bar squats. Then of course you got the Ukrainian deadlifts. Did those for the first time the other day, and those burn my hamstrings like nothing else when I did them yesterday. And of course a high an insanely high set number of leg curls. And then this guy's routine also fall off a sled push. I don't have a sled side to improvise. So for me, I did the squats, did the Ukrainian deadlifts, then I did some hip thrusters and lunges to kind of supplement not having a sled. And then I did the 20 leg curls, three sets of 20 on each leg. And that burnt like crazy in the course of the calf race for the icing on the top. And of course, I decided to go ahead and talk to you mostly because I'm showing you the footage of the workouts that I'm doing. And I know this is like this is a much longer video, so I'm trying to talk as long as I can before getting to the real end of the rest part, which of course should be 
the deadlifts, which I know a lot of people tune in my channel to see. And that's why I'm just rambling right now because I know no one cares for all of us up, up until this point. Like the crunches and all those other stuff. Because I used to like, man, you do crunches every day. What's the freaking point? What's the freaking point? When I speak about abs, I will be doing a yoga class this week, Friday, on Instagram at 6 p.m. It's going to be yoga and weights class. So, guys, or so yoga strong class. So, guys, if you want to take an attend yoga class, please have your bands, light dumbbells, and our household products like bleach containers or detergent bottles ready for your extra resistance. So, I'll throw that in there because I know a lot of you guys are going to probably turn this video off as soon as I get to the deadlifts. And speaking about deadlifts, they'll be coming in two, three, one, and here we go. Doing some deficit pulls with the chains, followed by some rack pulls right afterwards to really work on the strength and coordination with this, you know, work on my strength while I'm still on quarantine. Like I said, get a little heavier, but not be too stupid with this, like I said earlier. I am on a bit of a caloric deficit, so not trying to snap my ish up and be super dumb with it. Plus, it's going to be a minute before the parlor of the meets come back in my area again. Because like I said, five building show is going to start back up in about a month or so. Parlor of the meets you probably won't have any until August, September time. And I know, I, just, I don't know, I'll take that what I said earlier, but there's not be anything interesting much after the deadlifts. But if you keep watching this, after I kind of had my little weird scenario with this freaking bar, this camera bar, you can see here. Yes, this thing is deep, but I can bear it. I mean, it's like my range of motion seems to be a straight bar because of the way my body is built. I can't exactly take advantage of the camera like I want to. So I skipped that. I actually felt my back even more so when I realized, hey, let me take the hex bar, put it into my landmine, and then use the handles on the hex bar to roll. And this actually feels more like a back row machine at the gym. Don't know how I made this entire like that I didn't even think about using this up until earlier this week. And of course, got the announcement, this is on Sunday, and of course I got the announcement later in the day that RPG Gym is now open in Michigan along with Gold Gym. And of course, the reason I'm not going to either gym is because number one, I pretty much have a whole gym right now. Have my lat bar coming from the T bar rolls as well, so I'd be able to get more reps with that. And also like this movement right here for back rolls. Kind of with the cable rolls, but it's like with cable rolls, like the thing with bands versus cables is you gotta be more mindful of the movement and possibly do twice as many reps to add to get something into it. And also, another big difference is with bands, make sure you're also doing your dumbbell and barbell work. And ironically, I know I was joking about you know about people saying this doesn't do anything, but here's the deal: it helps. But if you're not doing your barbells and dumbbells, you're not gonna really gain size, like Jerry just said in this video today. I know we kind of know people are joking about that, but yeah, you do need to still do your compound movements with some actual weight if you want to get real results. And yeah, I think at this point I'll shut up and let the music play while you guys watch the training. 